There we go. Good morning, world. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, if anybody's joining us, this is Andrew Joseph Perez here with a uh, Good Morning John. Um, going to do some shaving tips for Movember 2015. Um, you know, uh, if you are a Movember supporter already, awesome. If not, you can, of course, become one. US.movember.com is their website. Um, keep that handy. In the coming months, there's going to be a whole lot more movement with Good Morning Evertap. A uh, whole lot more movement with the Movember Foundation for this year uh, with their fundraising efforts, raising money to fight prostate, testicular cancer, and raise general health awareness. And uh, But what is in my pants, John? One day we're going to find out. Um, raising awareness and also raising money to fund cancer research and men's health research um, to prevent these cancers. Good morning, Dad. Uh, <laughs> to to uh, uh, um, find cures, find ways of treatment, and also uh, find better ways of taking care of ourselves. One way we can take care of ourselves, this goes for dudes, ladies, whoever, is shaving properly. Shaving properly is not that hard, but it does. Sam, Andrew, and Amanda are here too. Oh, hey guys, how are you? Um, awesome, that's fantastic, welcome. So shaving properly, it doesn't take a whole heck of a lot of extra time, but it'll save you a lot of face, um, or leg, or armpit, or whatever you're shaving. Um, chest, other regions. Uh, so, uh, so to begin with, finding a good shaving oil. For me, I personally like using the Aveda Energizing Composition. It just feels nice. Um, so you get your water nice and warm. Try not to waste water, obviously. If you can come up with kind of a Don Quixote shaving basin situation, that's even better. But if not, um, you know, try to plug your sink or something like that. Uh, for me, the water takes a minute to warm up here. Olive oil works great as well. There's, um, when on a later Periscope, Dad, uh, what I'm going to talk about is how to shave with just plain old oil. Um, coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil, all these things will work wonderfully. So there we go. Now i got my water nice and warm. I'm going to get my face a little bit wet. There we go. So now I've got just a base of moisture on my face. I'm going to grab my towel here. Uh, base of moisture on my face, and then just a few drops of oil. This pre-shave oil is just going to kind of coat the hairs and make the blade slide nicely over them rather than having to scrape a ragged metal edge across your smooth, smooth, delicious face. So now I feel all nice and oily and it's wonderful. Give yourself a little massage. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really good. Make sure you get all the spots. So there we go. Um, don't try to rinse the oil off your hand if you want to use soap. Cool. I can, I just wipe it. It's easier. Um, so that's your pre-shave oil. Fabulous. Um, now, what we're going to do today is brush and shaving soap with just a standard razor. Um, most of us have a standard razor. You can pick up a brush and shaving soap at like Marshalls for 10 bucks. I mean, they're not that expensive. You can get a really good one at Art of Shaving. Um, but that's going to run you some dollars. So what I'm doing now is I'm saturating the brush with warm water, it's nice and drippy. Then I'm going to dip it in here and just kind of stir it around until it's nice and saturated with soap. And then I'm just going to brush it on. Maybe it could have been a little bit wetter. That's okay. I'm just going to brush it on so it's all over. It's hard to shave in a phone. I'm going to use the mirror. You guys can still see me. Um, brushing it on and then, uh, and then I'm going to do these little circular motions. What this is doing is actually lifting the hair away from the skin. You can do this also with your hand. Um, if you're using an olive oil or a coconut oil as your shaving solution, you can do the same motion. Um, rather than using a brush, you can just use your fingers. But the idea is you want to get the hairs off of your skin, lift them up a little bit so that they're not just resting right against the skin. It makes it easier for the blade to pick them up. Um, so just rinse out the brush. Fabulous. I can set my soap aside. Fabulous. Uh, just shaving lotions. It just general shaving cream just sucks. Just don't use it. Um, so then I get blade wet with warm water. Uh, and later I'm going to show you how to save a hell of a lot of money on blades. So when you're shaving with the grain, with the grain, not against, you will go eventually and then I'm just rinsing it off after each stroke. Um, you will go eventually perpendicular to the grain if you want a nice smooth shave, but never against the grain. Um, it just, it messes with the hair follicles. It's not great for your skin. It's very abrasive. Again, you are pulling 
jagged edges of metal across your face skin, which is very sensitive. So, you know, uh, take care of it. So I'm going with the grain, rinsing after each one, after each stroke. Um, I like this blade. This is the Gillette Fusion. Um, I like it because it's got the single blade on the upper end for precision work in case you do have a mustache or a goatee that you want to uh, keep very crisp. Uh, so again, still right with the grain, not going against the grain anywhere, not even on my mustache, especially not on my mustache, because that hurts. So now that I've kind of gone over the whole face, I'm kind of giving it a few exploratory bonus strokes. Let me get under here. When it comes to the jawline, just be careful. You can, that's, that's the spot where you're going to nick yourself. Um, now, there is one exception to the against the grain rule, and that is underneath. So you're still going to go once with the grain, just to get the longer hairs off. But now that we've gone one whole pass, if you want to get really fancy, give yourself a really nice shave, wet your brush again, or your hands or whatever, get your shaving oil or your soap or your lotion, whatever it's going to be, get it all nice and saturated again, coat your whole darn face all over again. Let me get that a little bit better, a little more soapy. Coating the whole face a second time. Now this is, this is not obviously necessary, but this is if you want that really smooth, really clean, fresh shaved face. Uh, and this will come in handy in a later lesson when we talk about straight razors and how to use those. Um, so I've got my blade back again. Now I'm going to go perpendicular to the grain. So I'm not going against, I'm not going with a second time. I'm going to go across. So from the edge of the lip toward the ear, I bet you can hear it. You know, it's still picking up little bits of hair. Same thing on the other side. That one's good. Now you will feel the difference with this. Um, your face won't be as sore as if you'd gone against the grain, but you're still going to get just as smooth. Chin, same deal. Going to go perpendicular. It's nice. It feels good. And you can get right underneath. Just go really light. I'm barely putting any pressure. You don't need it. You just don't need too much pressure. Get right in your, in your George Clooney chin cleft there. Um, I do go against the grain here, but I'm not gonna today. I'm gonna be a good boy. Leave my soul patch alone. Uh, and then same thing on the lip. Just stroking nice and light, relaxing the face. Creating as much surface area as possible. It's just so nice. And then this is the one place where it's different. You will go against the grain, pull underneath the chin, pulling the skin nice and tight. See, I'm like craning my neck to really get as much tension in the skin as possible. Pull that nice and tight. There you go. There you go. There you, go. you can kind of feel, feel around. If you got some soap on your face still, you can feel for a spot that you might still want to get to. Some right under there. And you just feel around. Um, again, no, like no pressure on this blade. It takes almost nothing to make this thing work, especially with something like this where there's five blades in it. It's so excessive. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to finish the face and then I'm going to show you what to do with this. So blade is still wet, it's just sitting there. Uh, rinse your face warm water just to get all the soap off, that helps. Ah. Ah. Now I'm going to switch to cold. The cold water, what that's going to do, a little cold water rinse. What that is actually going to do is help to close the pores and close the follicles back up, um, basically acting as a muscle relaxer for those tiny little muscles. So I'm going to splash some cold water on there a couple times. And if you want to get real fancy, you can actually heat up and cool down towels that are wet uh, and wrap your face in them. And that feels amazing. Uh, I don't have time for that today. but. Often, if I'm going to take the time to do a straight razor shave, I will take the time to do that. Just because it's going to take a little time anyway, and I don't want to be fancy, so that's what I do. Uh, a towel away. 
Now, to finish off the face, find a good quality uh, aftershave. Not the alcohol-based stuff. That stuff is no good. It's just it, stinging is if it if it hurts, don't do it. Uh, so if your aftershave stings, don't use it. I've been using this Aveda Pureformance Men's Aftershave, this same bottle, since 2012. Probably it's not so good anymore, to be honest. But it, I still have some. I'm using so little. It's like, boop, just a tiny dot. Because you're just going to cover your face where you shaved. And it's going to feel real nice. Doesn't sting. Just helps to kind of moisturize. And again, close up those pores. So that you're not getting anything stuck in there. And finally, a good quality moisturizer. Um, I'm using CeraVe. Caravi, I don't know, um, Cetaphil works, Eucerin works, just a non-fragranced little dollop of moisturizer. And this goes on not only your whole face, make sure you get your eyes, your crow's feet, your forehead wrinkles, and where you just after shaved. All those little spots that'll uh, wrinkle up in the sun. But because you'll be using a moisturizer that has an SPF to it, you're also gonna wanna make sure to get all the way down onto your neck. This is the thing that people forget to do. Get your neck nice and covered because that SPF is going to save you from saggy wrinkly neck skin when you get older. It's nice to have nice tight skin. So last thing, very last thing, we got this wet razor, right? So this is huge. This is for ladies, for gents, for everybody. Dry off your razor. Just keep those blades nice and dry. This is going to prevent it from rusting, which is going to prevent it from dulling. Even little bits of rust that you can't see will make these things dull out. Now, we all know that these heads are like stupid expensive, cost you, you know, your rent to get a new pack of them. I've been using the same head for probably six months and I shave every day and it's still good. I have no problems. It feels fine. It shaves well. Just take good care of it. Take them out of the shower. Don't leave the razors in the shower. Saggy neck skin is no fun. I know. I come to you from the future. Yes. <laughs> See, he comes to us from the future. And he knows. He knows. Great Scott. Uh, um, but yeah, just take, take care of the neck skin. Take care of your razors. Take them out of the shower. Don't leave them in the shower. Because then they're just sitting there literally in a puddle of their own dampness. And that... Sounds gross. I'm sad I said that. And it's also just bad for the blade. Um, I still keep mine in the case thing. Just I, I take care of my stuff, man. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of the basics on proper, you know, really taking care of yourself with a good shave. Um, next time we'll talk about... Uh, We'll talk about how to do it with just straight up oil. And then after that, we'll talk about how to do a full on straight razor shave, which is a lot of fun. Um, teach you guys how to look all old school and badass and stuff. So again, remember us.movember.com. This is what we're doing. Uh, starting up very, very soon. We're going to have a whole lot of action on there for fundraising for 2015. Um, if you want to follow me specifically, you can find me at mobro.co slash Andrew J. Perez. Um, I don't know if everything's up and running yet on Movember.com, but it will be soon. You can also find this and any other Periscope I do about Movember at my YouTube, which is youtube.com slash user, or just search Andrew J. Perez Music. You will find me there. Um, I did one on last week or the week before on the uh, types of mustaches, clearing up some misconceptions. Horseshoes are not handlebars, nor are they Fu Manchus. Those are different. Uh, you can find all this stuff right there. Andrew J. Perez Music on YouTube. And you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, Andrew J. Perez and Andrew Joseph Perez. Nice and easy to find. It's, you know, name, my name. Um, again, this year we're going for a $5,000 goal. So let's let's hit it. Let's get a lot of people on here. Tell your friends about this. Um, I'm going to be doing this kind of stuff as often as I possibly can because I want to get money raised for November. I want to help, you know, increase our awareness of men's health issues. I want to help increase the funding that's going towards men's health programs. Um, you know, I love that we have so much support. Movember has now helped over a thousand organizations and programs. I think we can do better. I think we can raise a hell of a lot of money this year. I think just Team Pro Stash is going to raise at least $5,000 and we need your help. So tell everybody you know, us.movember.com. It's coming at you. Get ready and shave nicely. Shave on, my brethren and sistren. Peace out.